Eric Morgan, Mother.com, February 26, 2016. Let's take a look at the markets here with about three hours to go before the close. Just want to show you some 30 minute charts here and an hourly chart for the Dow Transports so we can see how markets are going to respond over the next couple of days based on the current chart. And what we can do here is track what happens when markets come back and try and make a new high. So this is the Dow Transports hourly. And we can see an attempt to break out here. But while this is taking place, we can see that it is failing to hold above 61.8 right there on its hourly chart, failing to move above that while it's trying to make a new high. So that could be a red flag, all right? In other words, that might indicate that in the next couple of hours and maybe days, that the next swing trade is gonna be down. That's my thinking there because that's the worst type of negative divergence where a stock tries to make a new high short term, but the RSI fails to move above 61.8. So that's the hourly. Also, there's another view of this, and you can see that the market's been making incremental new highs in price, while the RSI is showing a line of resistance. And I think if you add those two things together, this negative divergence line more than likely indicates that the next meaningful swing trade for markets is probably lower. We take a look at the 30 minute chart, and again, we can see here, an attempt to break out on the 30 minute chart while the RSI is making a lower low here and also a line connecting recent RSI highs. So that 30 minute chart net net suggests that as long as that's the case, then we should expect that the next swing trade for the Dow transports at the very least is lower. Otherwise, if the market is to truly break out, then it needs to move above this line of resistance on the 30 minute chart. Keep in mind on these charts, I am using RSI period of 26 for both the 30 minute chart and the hourly chart. So right now, just wanna take a look at this because maybe we can learn something from here, how we can trade markets, especially if it works out that the market pulls back from current levels. We can store that somewhere in our minds. Next time we see a similar move, we should anticipate that the next swing trade is gonna be down. Otherwise, we shall see how this plays out. I just thought it was a nice live study session to see whether markets pull back from here based on negative divergence and based on the fact that the hourly is trying to make a new high and the RSI is failing to hold above what? 61.8 on the hourly. Eric Mwadith, Mwadith .com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Mwah.